Ladies and gentlemen, it is your man Jelani JB, Bodie, host of this thing called the Wait a Minute Show, and it is going down once again in the ATL. Uh, we will be talking about sports as we always do. We'll be talking about people getting moolah as we always do. We'll be talking about NBA playoffs and anything else that you want to talk about. But before we do that, let's go. Far out, on the wall. Can you see it as the people fall from an AK 47 spraying down the hall? Oh, this screaming, this act is so inhuman. This, this must be a living in a nightmare. Oh, yeah. If you can see what I see, yeah, we're living in a nightmare. Wait a minute, show.
Hold up, hold up. Wait a minute, show. JD Bodie, that's my bro. Wait a minute, show. My man Pan is on the low. Wait a minute, show. JD Bodie, that's my bro. Wait a minute, show. My man Pan is on the low. Coming straight out of Flint, Michigan. JD Bodie is him again. Two times Wednesday, Saturday. Show make you wanna sing Donny Hathaway. Facebook Live, Trigger.com. It's the Wait a Minute Show fam. And we drop ball as we proceed. Just tune in, no need to take a fee. With the stews, JB, that's my dude. And I don't mean to be rude, but these other shows lame like eating prunes. Facebook got you tweaking, tweakers, eardrums bleeding. JB got what you need, my man Lopez saying yes indeed. Go to the wait a minute show.com to follow all episodes. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Wait a Minute Show with your man Jelani J.B. Bodie. And once again, it is going down like we always do Wednesday night, hump night. I am going to give you your sports fix and I'm going to tuck you in tonight. So uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Uh, it is playoff NBA. It is NFL draft. Yeah, I'm a little late, but hey, we didn't have a show on Sunday or Monday or Tuesday. As a matter of fact, when I, well, now that I'm already speaking about it, when I say we, I mean me and he. We didn't have a show up until today, you see. So uh, when I speak of he, it is him. It is the guy that everyone comes to see or wants to hear. It is the L. It is the O. It is the P. It is the A. It is the N. Better known as Lopan. Yeah, so Lopan is in the building with me uh, tonight here in the ATLs and Lions Den studios. Uh, I, oh, man, eh, I'm gonna save that. I want to save it for later. I'm not gonna bring it up right now. But you want to tune in. You don't want to miss anything. Uh, cause I'm, I may, I may let the cat out the bag, Lopan. I may, you know, give uh some big news. Big news. I'll think about it, you know, as the show goes on. And maybe uh, it, it will come out. But I'm just thinking maybe I'll, I'll wait uh, to maybe a better time or a proper time. Maybe right now is the time. I don't know. Uh, I'll think about it as the show goes on. Uh, but like I said before, we're going to talk NBA talk. The playoffs is going on uh, right now. So we're going to get into that. Uh, I don't think it's really uh, too much of a surprise in the NBA uh, but we will get into a discussion uh, about the matchups that's going on in the second round. Uh, we're going to get into NFL. Uh, I don't know. I don't know with some of the moves that people are doing. Uh, we'll get into that and more. And you don't want to go anywhere. This by far, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm just going to tell you right now. This by far will be probably the most dangerous, dangerous, I'm putting, I'm putting my life on the line for y'all with this show. This will probably be the most dangerous Big L award I hand out. Yeah, yeah, I gotta hand it out. Something bad may come from it. I may end up disappearing, so if y'all don't hear from me next week, then call the cops. But I am putting my life on the line with this Big L Award. So you don't want to go anywhere. You want to stay to the end of the show to find out who is picking up a Big L Award. It got me a little scared. I actually got Lopez scared, too. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, it's... Woo. I guess here's how we're going to start this. We're going to take a, a, a little stroll back. Uh, we're going to talk uh, about the NFL draft. So I, I hope you're you're fine with that in, in, in discussing that uh, with me. And in the Wait a Minute Show chat room, because it is going on right now live, uh, if you listen to the show uh, live, you can go in and put in your comments. So I would like to hear from you guys out there as far as like, 
anything and everything that you may you know want to talk about as far as the uh, NFL draft. If there was a surprise, if if so, if your team did something that you did not like, if you did, if your team did something that was great, uh, put it into the Wait a Minute Show chat room, and, and we'll discuss that uh, as well. Now, here's the thing: I'm not going to do. And I think I may have done this before, but I, I'm I'm going to stop doing this. And, and this is the the whole thing after the draft, how people go and they say, oh, who who won the draft, who lost the draft, giving grades and all this stuff. The reason why I'm not doing that anymore, because the draft is not a, 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 a perfect science. It is not two plus two equals four. You know, it, it is not who can manage the best money, you know, uh, and, and, and invest, you know, in, in, well, you are investing in player, but, you know, it, it, it's not an exact science. Let's just put it that way, okay? So when you go out and you give these grades and, and, and talk about, you know, who shouldn't have did this, who shouldn't have did that, you know, I mean, I go back to things, hey, it was people that was talking about Alex Smith being the number one overall draft pick, that that was a good you know, pick for the 49ers, you know, someone was justifying that. And obviously, as we see how that played out, Aaron Rodgers, you know, with a better choice, Tom Brady, we already know sixth round. So, and then I, I just bring that stuff up is that there are players that did not get drafted such as, uh, uh, Antonio Gates or something like that, but also guys that go late into the draft that is considered not good enough to be a first round draft pick, considered not to have an extensive career into the NFL uh, and, and everything plays out well for them. Everything's happened and, and, and guys have been in the Hall of Fame, you know, that was, were not drafted in the first three rounds. So that's why I'm not going to do the whole grade thing because you can get it wrong and, and no one cares. You know, no one's going to go back and say, hey, remember when? You, no, no. All we do we look at what's uh, set before us, and then we make a decision as far as, like, can that guy play? Can he not play? How did his career play out? And then, you know, from, from there on out, it, it's whatever, you know. But I will talk about some moments uh, in the draft, uh, if you will, and I will uh, point out some things to me. And I, I think some of this is, you know, obvious. Obviously, it was to Kyler Murray. Uh, uh, going number one overall, I think. Um, and actually, I know when we were talking about the top 10 picks, uh, I was saying that Carla Murray would be, you know, the number one overall pick. Uh, I just had some questions as far as like, and I've always said, can he play? Can he play? If he can play, that's all that matters. Uh, but my question was, was, you know, number one overall, do you think he is that type of player? that type of guy you know and I wasn't 100% but the Arizona Cardinals were to take him number one uh and and, and listen to this uh, I'm gonna tell you this people are talking about well you know Josh Rosen you know uh he he's you know he was there for one year blah 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 uh Steve Wills was there for one year what's gonna happen with Cliff Kingsbury and, 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 and Kyla Murray here's what I'm gonna say because Arizona to me Arizona is saying we made a mistake. We made a mistake. They made a mistake in the coach. They made a mistake with the quarterback. There is not going to be another one year and say we made a mistake or, you know, some something else better came along. And that's how they're they're spinning it is that Kyler Murray is basically a better quarterback than Josh Rosen. And he is something that, you know, is a one time thing. And and I, all I'm saying is, if you're going to take a quarterback, obviously you're going to spin it as that. You're not going to say, well, he's kind of close, you know, to Josh Rosen, or he is a little bit better than Josh Rosen. Yeah, you're going to spin it because you want everyone to believe, uh, you know, in what you're investing in. So these guys are going to be around. I, I will, Kyler Murray is going to be around longer than Cliff Kingsbury, I believe. Uh, but they they are going to definitely be attached at the hip all three of them cardinals kingsbury and kyla murray and as kyla murray goes you know that that team will go but they got a lot of things that they got to do they got a lot of things that they gotta you know need to address uh and, and it quarterback to me it still wasn't the most important 